Hi, this is Gilles, Radio Prepper. This is an update on the QRP Ver Minion SDR radio. Now, if you haven't seen my first impression video, please check down below for the link and have a look first. Uh, but uh, I did notice when I used the radio that there were a few problems, a couple of problems in CW mode for Morse code. One was that I was getting extra dots and dashes and another one was that sometimes after I stopped transmitting, reception didn't come back for a few seconds. Now, I thought, you know, that's a bit bizarre. And uh, I was wondering if maybe there was a problem with uh, RF currents uh, messing up with the, uh, the radio's electronics. So that wouldn't be, of course, the, uh, the radio's fault, other than maybe being a bit sensitive to it. But uh, I wanted to try another antenna which is what I did today. So this is my setup. I have a 9 to 1 Unun here with a 7 meter wire that goes down on the side of the building. Connected to that, I have an RF choke and I have a clip here with a counterpoise which is following my handrail here. I taped it to the handrail so it goes all the way down there. Then, of course, we have the uh, coax going to the radio, actually to my uh, Elocraft T1 tuner. The other difference here is that I am powering the radio with a gel cell battery instead of my uh, MFG switching power supply. So I'm going to send a CQ on 20 meters and we'll see if I get the same problems as before, namely uh, the uh, delay to uh, regain reception after I stop keying and the extra dots and dashes, so let's give it a shot. Yep, it does work, and believe me, I tried quite a few times and the problem did not reoccur, uh, neither of them. Now the question is, is it the antenna or is it the fact that I'm using a gel cell battery? It isn't too difficult to find out. It looks like it wasn't the power supply. So I was correct in my first video in assuming that the problem could be caused by stray RF currents. Now I'm surprised because uh, my other radios are not so sensitive to it, I guess, and they don't have any problem with the chameleon impasse or my magnetic loop. But uh, the Minion SDR uh, does seem to you know, not like stray RF currents even though I had a choke, but my choke isn't that great, so... But anyway, good point for the uh, QRP Ver Minion SDR, because actually the problem doesn't really come from the radio, and it works really well in CW, except for the uh, relay delay. You know, it doesn't have QSK once again, but hey, you know, I'm really happy about this, because it works better than I thought it did. Now I'm wondering, of course, uh, what about the uh, PTT problem with uh, JS8 call, you know, the cat control for digital modes with the JS8 call program. Now, of course, that could be the fault of the uh, JS8 call program. I don't know, but I'm wondering if uh, those uh, stray RF currents could have, uh, you know, caused that problem. I have to check that. So let's see if it works. Now I'm going to go to JSA call and in the preferences and check if I can uh, get a test of the uh, cat control. Let's test cat. Okay, that works, that worked before. Whoop, I still got an error. Nope, okay, TS140S, uh, that's what worked before. But I'm going to uh, try the uh, TS440, which is the uh, what the manual suggests. So let's 
give it a shot. Oops, I should bring that back. Command rejected by the rig. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, I'll go back to a TS-140S. Okay, the communication works. The, the frequency is set properly, but uh, the uh, PTT error uh, still remains. Of course, that problem uh, might have nothing to do with the radio. It might be a software problem. And by the way, I tried with both Mac and Windows. Now, of course, I'm ecstatic that uh, CW works fine because that's my favorite mode. And even though I bought the radio for single sideband, I'm really glad I can use it on CW. And uh, so the problem is completely vanished, uh, obviously caused by uh, stray RF currents. So use a very good choke, an RF choke, unlike mine. I'll have to redo that one and make a video about that. But uh, really, I'm really very pleased with this radio, even more so now, of course, uh, because the problem isn't the radio. So for digital modes, uh, once again, I don't know because it could be caused by a software. I tried other software like FLDG and uh, FL Rig, but uh, the setup is so complicated that I, I didn't know how to do it. And uh, so I couldn't make it uh, work, but uh, I still don't know uh, if the problem comes from the radio or if it comes from the JS8 core program. And uh, I'll try to find out. Anyway, uh, for a CW mode, so using Morse code, before uh, the first day I used the radio, I would have given it maybe a 5 out of 10. Now I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. And just because it doesn't have QSK, Oh, and some people ask me if I did buy the radio with the extra uh, low-pass filters, and yes, I did. At first, I didn't. I just ordered without the filters, and then I thought about it for a couple of days, and I sent an email to Yuri and uh, told him to add the filters, which uh, was good that I did that in time, because he told me that you couldn't add the filters later. So if you're going to use the radio for, for transmit, I highly suggest that you get the uh, the filters. Uh, you know, it's $80, it's not, it might as well. Otherwise, you probably would have to use uh, external filters. Uh, and that's a bit of a pain to add stuff, you know, cables and things like that. So uh, much better to get the filters. Now, if you're using the radio for reception only, obviously you don't need that board. And once again, I will uh, reiterate that uh, this radio really shines in a single sideband. Last night, I had a uh, contact on uh, 40 meters using my uh, magnetic loop. And, uh, you know, it's only, uh, well, it seems to be about 10 watts out, but really because my uh, Allocraft T1, uh, the last LED lights up and it shows 10 watts. So I don't know. Anyway, it's quite a bit, quite a few watts more than uh, 5 watts. And I actually made a contact on 40 meters with that uh, magnetic loop on my uh, terrace here. So, yeah, it works really well in single sideband. And now it works all right in CW as well. There will be uh, more videos about this radio, of course, because there is such a high interest. I think we are for, you know, fourth day and we are up to like 14, 15,000 views. So uh, definitely uh, people are interested and I will make more videos on this radio. Have a good one.